Red Dead Redemption 2 is known for being extremely well crafted and detailed. One of these features is many different types of NPCs you can interact with and enemies you can fight. While most enemies can be taken down relatively easily, there are still a small amount that are extremely difficult and unforgiving. So here are the NPCs in Red Dead Redemption 2 that will kill a player in one hit. Sam Freeman is the Sheriff of Tumbleweed and is the only sheriff in the game that can kill you in one hit. He is very harsh when it comes to enforcing the law and very intolerant to any kind of wrongdoing. His appearance also seems to be heavily inspired by Bass Reeves, the first African American US deputy to serve in western territories. He carries a double barrel shotgun and a cattleman revolver, and a shot from either of his weapons will kill you instantly. The hermit can be found living in Manito Glade, a homestead north of Annisburg. Your conversation is kept short with him, as if you don't leave within a certain period of time, he comes outside and starts shooting at you. A man's home is his castle! Go away or I'll kill ye! What's your problem, partner? You're dead! The Night Folk are a group of savage killers located in and around Blue Water Marsh in the grass. They only use bows and melee weapons and wear heavily worn clothes. They do also not speak a single line of dialogue in the entire game. Sometimes you can see them carrying the corpses of their victims and dead bodies hanging from a tree. While they can be seen during the daytime, their presence is much more frequent at night, therefore making Blue Water Marsh a dangerous place after sunset. It is important to note that the night folk are capable of, but will not always kill you in one hit. I've watched videos and read about people dying in one hit from them, but it's only happened to me a couple of times. The vampire is a sinister looking creature that can only be found during a special encounter in the town of St. Denis. In order to find the vampire, the player must first find five pieces of mysterious writing that line the walls of St. Denis. These can be found and inspected in any order by the player, after which the protagonist jots down the text and location in their journal. Once all five writings have been documented, a map will be drawn in your journal that points to the location where the vampire can be found. You can then go to that area at night, and a cutscene will play. So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back, for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Well everyone, that's it for this video. Let me know if you found this interesting, or if you've encountered any of these NPCs yourself while playing. Also, let me know any ideas for future video suggestions down in the comments. I'll suck you dry.